Since the beginning of time, man has tried to think of new ways to keep himself cool. As we evolved, man became more successful in that endeavor. As the Industrial Revolution emerged, so too did man's new inventions, new ways to regulate temperature, both heating and cooling. Modernizing even further, humans began to enjoy their surroundings. Their climate was balanced, yet we wanted better, quieter, more reliable, more efficient. As we moved into the modern era, we brought along new ideas, mechanical methods, and more science. Many questions that are asked to uh, us at Okaloosa Gas is from a marketing perspective, why did we install the gas-fired heat pump? And it's pretty simple. Uh, if you don't use it, you can't sell it. And one of the major concerns that we had is when we got into just the four principles of marketing, price, promotion, place, and product, if we don't have the product on hand, how can we show somebody it? How can we show that we believe in that product? And so it was very important to Okaloosa Gas that we install the product and allow the consumer and our community to understand the importance of the product and how it can benefit them. Once we had stakeholder commitment to embrace the next era technology, we next moved to how to shape the project management approach. And we adopted a pilot project strategy. And one needs to understand this technology is going to create demands on the, from the product developer and the supplier. There's going to be a quality requirement of the participants and a two-hour response requirement for your mechanical contractor. You must visualize, in my personal opinion, the end state of how the system will be sustained and filled it in your area. We were challenged to take a 1982 building with an existing uh, HVAC system and one that had actually been abandoned in place along with that current system as our pilot project site. It was basically an unhealthy building without outside air induction. We made a decision to deliver our project with a design-build approach. We chose a local engineering firm and a mechanical contractor with all the required trades in-house to sit down at the table with us to define the system, design, and install it. The key requirement for selection of the engineer and the mechanical contractor was their ability to support basically the variable flow cooling technology the system delivers. From Okaloosa Gas, we asked our service uh, department and the Information Technology Division to participate in the design as well. You've got to remember the system is an intelligent system controlling the temperature across multiple zones and it actually communicates its status once it's active. The Okaloosa Gas District invited us to participate in uh, the design of a new HVAC system for their building in Okaloosa County uh, in Valparaiso and uh, we were more than happy to get involved and, and look into this new technology. Uh, Okaloosa Gas provided training to us as engineers, to the Okaloosa Gas District as uh, the maintainers and the providers of natural gas, and the mechanical contractors who were going to work on the systems to install it, to maintain it, um, and that was a, a very beneficial uh, process for us. My name is Reagan Huff, I'm with Bayou Mechanical. We were the contractor on the Okaloosa Gas project, and we installed the Next Air system in Okaloosa Gas. We got involved with Okaloosa Gas and Avcon, came to us and told us about the project, and we were very interested in the project because it used a new technology with the natural gas heat pump. Avcon Engineering and Bayou Mechanical both matched the team profile needed to take the project from start to finish. Bringing the engineer, mechanical contractor, and Okaloosa Gas to the table up front in the design allowed a totally integrated approach and saved significant time and dollars in project execution. Okaloosa Gas funded the training and certification efforts 
and required each organization to participate in the training and certification task from IntelliChoice. IntelliChoice was brought in, provided training on the gas heat pumps. Um, we sat side by side with the, the maintainers, with the, the construction crews, and we went through the training about how the system works, all the pros and cons, uh, the maintenance, and I think that created a very cohesive team um, that throughout this whole process of the design, the installation, and now the running of the system has produced a, a very good product. Uh, we're very happy, uh, personally, I'm very happy to be involved with this project. It has been a lot of fun. It's been some design challenges. It's been some, uh, some with all new technologies, there's a, a lot of a learning curve, uh, but it's been a, a fun process to be involved with. And we were very familiar with the type of system from the heat pump on because it uses the same refrigeration system and the same air handlers that we had done many times before. Since we are a mechanical, electrical, and plumbing state certified contractor, it made a lot of sense for Oculus Gas to talk with us because you have plumbing involved with the gas lines going to the heat pumps, you have electrical involved, and you have a lot of duct work in the system. And we can do all three of those trades as a state certified mechanical, electrical, and plumbing contractor. The biggest challenge we had was bringing the project up to code with electrical requirements and the fresh air intake to solve our health situation. This created numerous and additional requirements and also increased the cost of the pilot project. We had a double demolition system uh, challenge as well. Another challenge, the building had to remain in use. So I want you to imagine having to go in with a phased approach, shuffling p personnel and relocating them to support the project. Uh, the project went really well. It was a renovation of their existing two-story building. And with any renovation, it had its challenges. It was an occupied building, so one of our challenges was to, of course, keep the uh, current systems running. Uh, and also demo out the other systems where we were replacing. And this was a phased approach. So we did the first floor and we did that one half at a time and then we moved up to the second floor and did that one half at a time. A total of five months was required to complete the entire project from start to finish. Our schedule was much longer than new construction due to the removal of old systems and installing complete new ducting to achieve the results we desired. A standard governmental approach to procuring the brand name technology followed with national advertising of the need. The equipment was directly procured by Okaloosa Gas to reduce costs and to leverage our tax advantage status. Once the project was completed, we obtained approval from a local cooperative purchasing group of multiple counties cities, municipalities, schools, and universities. The district agreed to be the lead agency in delivering a cooperative contract with, that provided significant discounts for use by local governments across the state of Florida. This contract can be used through a concept called piggybacking by other local governments by simply coordinating with Okaloosa Gas. We recognize that Okaloosa Gas at the biggest obstacle of any promotion is its presentation. And the presentation of an HVAC unit, let's just face it, it's a big box. And so what did we need to do in order to convince the public and our community that we are actually selling a viable product? Well, we've already mentioned before that we are going to use the product. And if we're using the product, we're putting our seal of approval on it. But in addition to, we decided that we needed to build a showpiece over at the district. And with that came redoing our mechanical rooms, setting up decks and viewing areas of the system. So when people came in, they say, we're serious about this product. Okaloosa Gas is serious about what we're trying to promote. And in each side, each of our mechanical rooms, we set up uh, easels with poster boards. And these poster boards actually tell the story of the gas-fired heat pump, the benefits of it, the benefits of natural gas to it, what the heat pump is made out of. And besides that, it's a portable presentation and we can take it on the road with us so we can give presentations at different community events. Personally, uh, I've been able to go out and spout the, the, the great benefits of the gas heat pump. 
Um, within my own professional engineering society, I've been to Panama City, to Pensacola, even down to Tampa to provide briefings on the gas heat pump technology and all the, all the benefits um, to get the word out. Another area where I've been able to introduce the gas heat pump has been at the local high schools. I was over at Niceville High School and Fort Walton Beach High School talking to the environmental class about ga natural gas, just in general education, talking about engineering, um, but also able to produce uh, information on the gas heat pump, which uh, they, everybody was very interested in, had a lot of questions. It was a lot of fun. The ability to provide air conditioning in a zone concept with the variable refrigerant flow technology solved many of the challenging office issues for the district. A healthy building has been provided to our employees. We immediately noticed a drop in allergy problems. You've got to remember the system is intelligent, so it is monitoring the technologies it operates. It will generate a fault to IntelliChoice's control center, who will notify the mechanical contractor and your organization of the problem. You have to remember your mechanical contractor must respond to the fault within two hours. This has created an opportunity for Okaloosa Gas to work with Bayou Mechanical to provide immediate assessment of the problem with follow-up for repair by the mechanical contract. This concept will be matured as more systems are installed beyond our pilot project. We have reached the first milestone in maintenance with our 15-ton units, which required additional training. Our maintenance validated the benefits of clean burning natural gas within the gas-fired heat pump system. Even after continuous operation for a year or more, the oil in the motors was as clean as the day it was installed. So, you know, the final question that's always asked of myself as marketing director and of Okaloosa Gas is, why did we do this? Why did we put this unit in? Well, the, the reasons are obvious. You know, the, the benefits of the product set themselves aside from everything else. But besides that, we had to go in and create a slogan in order to sell this to the community. Why would you want to do that? It's, once again, we're talking about a box that has an uh, engine in it. So what at Okus Guess we did is we decided to come up with a slogan, the difference is dramatic. And if you'd been in our building before, we had the unit and now after we have the units there is no comparison the difference truly is dramatic and so the the selling points of the unit and the performance of the unit sells itself within the environment and the things that we need to do leading by example has always been the way of okaloosa gas and we decided that we would put our money where our mouth is and it's so important that for us in, in order for us to be able to sell these units in order to market these units, in order to be to promote these units, that we have them installed, that we can have people come over and touch and feel and see the success that we're having. Because as I said, the difference in these units, the difference really is dramatic.